Hey everybody, this is Kenny C here from Chilling with Jeffrey Kenny C, and I am bringing you an exclusive interview. My guest at this time is a model from Delaware. She is part of the Dead Babes. I am happy to be joined with Lorelai Wiannon, and she is joining me right now. Hello. Hello. How I'm, are you? I'm doing real good, and uh, thank you so much for taking your time and doing this interview. No problem. So talk a little bit about yourself and how did your modeling career got started? Um, I started doing photography and um, got really interested in, in pictures and how cameras worked and all that. And then everybody was telling me I had the face for modeling. But I always thought I was too short because I'm five feet tall and I had tattoos and I'm not six in and all that. So uh, I found out about alternative modeling through, like, Suicide Girls and God Girls, but I didn't like the fact, you know, that you you had to get naked and everything. So I got started in modeling. Luckily, eventually uh, met Joe and was delighted to find out. You know, there was a site where you didn't have to get naked and um, joined the Dead Babes, and I had a falling out with them, but I'm, I'm back and being involved, and I'm very happy, very happy to be there. How did it all came about? How did you first heard of the Dead Babes? Um, I was searching for alternative modeling sites to be a part of, and um, I found them, and I thought the girls were beautiful, and the environment was really nice, and I contacted him from there. And uh, what type of modeling do you like to do? Um, I, I like, uh, I, I'm a very artsy person, so I like anything out of the box. I don't like doing anything ordinary, and it's so hard to get original pictures because you know, everybody's done it all. So I just, I try to be out of the box and I'm very creative. So anything interesting, I don't really like, you know, doing boring, you know, pose here, pose here, pose here, and all that kind of stuff. But I, I'm very open-minded. I'll pretty much do any type of modeling as long as it's, like I said, out of the ordinary. And uh, let me ask you this. What is you considering yourself as an alternative model I mean, what what is your take on alternative modeling as of right now? Do you think that it will ever get to where mainstream modeling is? I definitely do because it honestly kind of aggravates me. I liked being different. I liked, you know, old people looking at me and, and calling me a devil worshiper because I had tattoos. And it made me feel, I don't know, like proud to be into what I was into. And it's becoming so mainstream now that it it actually is kind of aggravating. So considering how mainstream it's becoming, I I definitely think it'll take off more because my generation is more into stuff like that. So you know, as we get older, I think and and people like me take over all the industries and stuff like that. I definitely think it'll take off. Have you ever had to dealt with photographers that is hesitant on you because of the tattoos and because of the modeling that you do? Um, I have, but I never deal with them because I'm not going to deal with anybody that tells me I can't be me and wants to edit out my tattoos and all that. I don't care what the price is. I'm always myself. Who do you consider as influences in your modeling career? Um, I don't necessarily have any influences. I don't have any, like, modeling idols or anything like that. I mean, I just... I've always been really into art, and I go more by that. I go more by, like, feelings, and, you know, I read a poem, and I model based on that, or I go by music. Music is honestly, as weird as it sounds, one of my biggest influences on how I pose and everything like that. And I just, I don't like to be like anybody else. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm different, I guess. What type of music do you like? I like anything that pleases my ears. I like, um... I'm like, I guess a metal girl at heart. I, I I love heavy metal and rock and all that. It, I like a lot of underground music and, like like I said, with modeling, any music that's out of the box or different or creative with different aspects to it. I don't know. I don't like really like mundane, boring music where they just sing about the same thing. And I, I don't know. Music has become too about being competitive and one up in each other and stuff like that. I don't, I don't like any of that stuff. I like discovering new music and thank God for the internet because it's enabled me to do so. But I like everything. I like dubstep a lot too. That's fun. 
What are some goals you would like to set uh, for the rest of the year? Or better yet, for your modeling career going forward? Any goals, anything that you would like to accomplish? Um, I would like to get more involved and um, maybe win some contests of, of whatever type. And um, and I would like to be in in some, like, print art books and um, also maybe, like, ink magazines and tattoo magazines. I need to get my, my ink worked on so I can accomplish that. So I have a lot of unfinished work. That's about it. I mean, I always like making money, but that's not my main priority. And other than Delaware, is there any places, any areas that you'd like to travel to? I would like to travel everywhere, unfortunately, uh, the economy. I haven't been many places, but I'd really like to go. A few places I would love to go are Japan and Ireland. Eventually, that's like my top two. I want to go to places. But I, I frequently travel around Maryland and Philly as far as photo shoots, so I'm I'm definitely able to travel around here. And if it was paid for, I'd, I'd travel anywhere. Is there any models or photographers that you haven't worked with but would like to work with someday? Um, there there are a lot. There's um someone named Scott that I'm going crazy over on Model Man. His pictures are just so perfect, I, I actually print them out and put them on my walls. They're like art prints, and I was excited to find, I, I hit him up, not expecting him to want to shoot with me, and he actually said that we could schedule, so I'm freaking out about that right now. I'm excited, so hopefully those pictures will be up sometime soon, once I get them done. Why don't you go ahead and uh, promote your links, and uh, how can people get in touch with you, learn more from you, and, and check out your photos? Um, my portfolio is on Model Mayhem. It's modelmayhem.com backslash Lorelai Rhiannon 2. And the spelling, I guess, is up on Debbie's of my name. Cause it's, I'm not going to sit here and spell it. It would take an hour. But um, I, And then you can find me on Debbie's. I'm not really a part of any other sites. I like to just stay with them. But all my pictures and all my other links are up on my Model Mayhem. So through that, you should be able to check out anything I'm involved in. What would your advice be? To anyone out there that wants to get involved with modeling, that wants to be in the modeling industry, or in your case, that wants to be an alternative model, what would your advice be? I would just say go for it no matter what. If it's your dream, don't let anybody tell you you don't have the right look because especially on Model Mayhem, there's always somebody who will use you for like, for a, for an art project or for, for something. There's always something out there for everybody who has that dream. And just don't don't try to be specifically like anyone else because the best poses and the best expressions come from inside, come from the heart. And and you just got to, like, really feel your emotions when you're modeling. It's, it, it's just like some girls I notice are more like robots with the way that they pose and move their face and everything. You just got to let it flow. And I mean... I would just say don't let anybody tell you any dreams, even if it's not modeling, that you can't accomplish them. Because if you put your mind into it and your heart and soul into it, you can do anything. I don't care if it's being president of the United States. You can do it. <laughs> you mentioned uh, multiple times about thinking outside the box. Uh, do you think that's something that you would like to see more for models, especially the mainstream models? Definitely, especially mainstream models, because like I just said, it's just like they're all the same. There's nothing that differs, and that's why I'm into tattoos and everything, because it's just like you can only look so different when you don't, I don't know how to really explain, you don't express yourself. Like, so many girls try to be like somebody else, like try to dye their hair or turn their skin orange or whatever, and it's just like a bunch of clones. It drives me crazy, so I definitely like to see more out-of-the-box thinking. Now, before I let you go, before we end this interview, I ask all guests to do this. It's like a station ID. It's like a voice drop. All you have to do is say your name. And right after you say your name, you say you are chilling with Jeff and Kenny C. Okay, my name is Lorelai Rianne, and I'm chilling with Jeff and Kenny C. That was great, and I want to um, thank you so much for your time. 
Uh, you've been one of the models I've been wanting to interview for quite a while, and I finally managed to do so. I want to thank you for your time. As always, thanks to Joe and the Dead Babes. Um, do you have any final words and shout outs? Um, I would like to shout out to all the fellow models who are trying to make it and uh, have been pushed down by anybody and got back up and kept persevering. And uh, definitely Joe for letting me be a part of the Dead Babes again because I fell out for a while. And all my fans and followers, thank you so much for promoting me and believing in me. And, and thank you for the interview. I appreciate it. Thank you for being on. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening. And uh, this will conclude the interview. Of course, you can listen to this and many more on chillingbroadcasting.com. I go by the name of Kenny C. And uh, we are done. You all have a good day.